Here's the highlights and tips from the Barry game. We did so many good things in this game. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna start by showing you something we did a little bit wrong, but I just wanna show you something. So you can see we got our bull, we got our fox, Ariana, our hawk's a little too low, right? The reason we don't wanna be down here, like I've said before, is like no one's gonna be passing in front of the net. Good place to be when you're the hawk is right about here. Now I'm gonna show you, watch where the cross ice pass goes, okay? Any cross ice pass is gonna go right through that area on a breakout, right? And you can see that winger is over there. Watch where this pass goes. Let me go a little slower. Look where this pass goes. It's gonna go right about here. This is where you wanna be. You don't wanna be low when you're the hawk. You wanna be right up in this zone. Look where this puck goes, right through that zone. That's where your cross ice passes are gonna go. And you guys did a, a really good job on the weekend at having that hawk in position to take those cross ice passes. And that generates a lot of chances for you, okay? So you can see on this play, we do these two examples. Good bull, there's your fox, boom. Really good position to steal that puck. And my favorite one is right here. That's how we get our goal. It's a four check goal, girls. It's a four check goal. Bull, Haley, Fox, Lillian, Hawk, Taya, stick on the ice. Look where that puck goes, right? That's where it's gonna go. Makes a really smart play to Sophia. Bang, one nothing, four check goal. Okay, five players all doing the right thing. Leads to a good chance that we take advantage of. Awesome stuff. We had some really good defense in this game too. Watch, uh, this is Sophia and Sari doing a good job. Sophia taking the front of the net. We got back checkers. Sari stick on stick, body on body. Beauty defensive play by everybody. Everyone helping out in the house. Here's Sophia. Nice work by Jazz protecting the house. We got a back checker, stick on stick, body on body, and then angles the girl off. We got help in the house. We got everything on this play. Okay, here's another one. This time it's Sophia and Sophia. Stick on stick, body on body. Sophia taking the front of the net. We got back checkers. Pucks out easy. Beautiful play. Uh, we had some great back checking. Watch this one. This is Ariane and Kate. It's actually the two forwards that break up this uh, two, uh, this uh, opportunity, right? Ariana skating hard back to the house with an active stick. Kate skating hard back to the house. And look who breaks it up. It's actually our two forwards off a clean breakout. When you break, when you, um, sorry, back check, hard to the house, okay? Really good job, and the puck is out. Threat averted. Here's Jazz with some really good D in front. Watch her. I like how she doesn't get tangled up with the girl. But she tracks the girl. She protects the house. She gets into her stick a little bit. She's in a great position to help out. She's got a forward helping her on that. Like Ariana doing a good job too. Ariana here staying like roughly halfway between the puck and the net. In a good position to help. Jazz playing the stick. Like that's just really good defense, okay? Jazz may not be our biggest defenseman, but she does a great job on that play, right? That's how we wanna play it. Okay, girls, this is my favorite play of the game, and I'm gonna tell you why. It's because we've been getting burned on defensive zone face-offs, and on this face-off, we do the right thing, and it leads to six really good offensive opportunities, okay? So this is another reason why we gotta do this right. And we actually lose this draw. But our winger's coming through hard, that's Charlotte. She sees the loose puck, she's coming through hard like she's supposed to. She knows any loose puck in this area, she can take it, and she does. She takes it, she makes a good headman pass to, to Haley. Haley's got space, does a little work on this girl here, gets a, break, a borderline breakaway, a rebound, another rebound, another rebound, shot from the point, Another shot pass and then a great chance by Haley. That's like six really good chances that started because of this. We did this right and it led to all of that. That, wingers coming through. 
makes such a big difference. You win loose pucks. You, you defend against point shots when you do that right. And then a great headman pass. We need more of these headman passes, eh? That is my favorite play of the game. And my second favorite play of the game is this D to D pass. Okay, this is brilliant too. Just really good play. Patience, Sophia sh shoulder checks, sees, oh, I got a lane. Jazz is behind Sophia, easy. And then Kate calls for the pass, cross ice, bang. And there we go. That is a beautiful play. Girls, I love it. You guys had such a good game. Uh, here's a nice little play by Charlotte. I think it starts with a good little four check actually. Yeah, Bull, Fox, Fox is there to break it up. Charlotte, puck gets deep. Battle, battle. Charlotte with a little move. I love it. Charlotte just whoop. Let's a shot go. Kate going to the net. Almost. Good chance. Uh, really good breakaway here by Kate. This is caused partially, you know, because this defenseman, their last line of defense, makes the mistake of an all or nothing poke check. All or nothing on Kate. Kate wins the battle. 2 on 0 breakaway. Right here, I want to see Ariana going hard to that back post stick on the ice. I want to see Kate looking over her shoulder, look for an opportunity. Almost a goal, almost a rebound. Really, really good play that was caused by hard work and also Barry making the mistake of an all or nothing four check. Okay, so got girls, overall, there's one other play here. I'll just show you quick. Little chance we had here. Just pressure pressure almost a breakaway win the puck and a nice one-timer opportunity that's a, a smart pass by Kate right really smart play almost a goal okay so many chances to uh, tie this game I'm gonna close this video with a couple tips okay in practice yesterday we started working on cycling the puck a little bit so please and the, I'm gonna give you some homework for that but what this is all about, cycling is all about using dead zones, right? So like the, the plays that I, we, like I talked about in practice yesterday, and I'm just gonna show one with Kate, but I'll be honest, we do this a lot. We probably do this 10 times in a game where the puck goes into the corner and we skate to the puck, we stop, and then we kind of blindly throw the puck in front, right? That's a really low percentage play that would work in novice hockey but it's not gonna work in U13 A hockey very often, right? It's a really low percentage play. I'll show you, this is actually on the same shift. We do this so many times in a game. Again, turn, stop, blind pass. Like you got a one player here, you got one, two, three, four, five players that that puck has to go through. You're never scoring on this play, right? So what could we have done on this play, right? This is where we want to use dead zone. So if you're that player in front, maybe you're cutting behind the net and you're saying, Kate, 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 Kate's passing to you. Kate's breaking to the net. Maybe Kate's open because everyone starts thinking about you. You slide it back. Just like we worked on in practice yesterday. Now, this is a learning for you guys. But what I want to show you is Barry. This is actually something Barry's using in their game a little bit, right? So watch this play right here. You see how the player in front, watch this player right here. She's going to the dead zone. This is the area behind the net that no one else is gonna defend. And what does this girl do? Rather than make a blind pass, she's like, you know what? I'm gonna cycle the puck. She cycles it right to that girl. And look at the opportunities it creates. You gotta pass, maybe this defenseman cuts across, quick pass and a shot. Maybe this player's open in front, or maybe this girl just walks out, right? That's how you use, see, and look what they do. They set right back into the same thing. Look, the puck goes to this side, and they cycle it again. See that? Pass in front. This is cross the D this time, okay? So you can see Barry's already starting to use dead zones, all right? That's what the focus of our offense is gonna be for the next little while, is how to create, how to utilize dead zones to create space and time and create opportunities, okay? So that's the tip for this game. Great game, girls, I'm so proud of you. You played so great on the weekend.